What is access for you? Access is the one thing that uh, I often don't find when I am uh, about with my wheelchair. I'm uh, often, very often hindered to have access and uh, usually I have a map in my mind where I can go through and where I can't go through. So I don't really uh, meet that, that many places where I can't go through. But access means I can go in like everybody else. That's for me. Being able to do things independently and be able to have all the resources I need to have a social and independent life and all the transportation I need to get around because I can't see. Having conversations with people so they can understand what that means for me um, rather than them deciding for me um, because I think that's something as people with disabilities we're always fighting. Being able to interact with the world in a meaningful way that meets my needs. It's a continual question I think when it's um, thinking again about it not being a noun but a verb um, it's ever changing and moving and I think it's I think access is fascinating I'm really intrigued by it I think starting with access is one of the most interesting ways to approach life and the world and other people and um, and both for myself and, and others openness like for something to be able to able to flow. I think that thinking about access and accessibility in terms of both process and dialogue um, shifts the focus away from one-size-fits-all definitions and more towards ongoing self-reflection. Being able to be together um, either together in physical space or in digital space or together through like having a shared experience. Creating access for one another, it's really a form of love and I want to credit the amicus for the space online and uh, you know, address you gave and she did talk about how solidarity and disability justice and how access are forms of love.